Why is the driver so much harder to hit than irons? That's the question, and this podcast, we're going to talk about the difference between drivers and irons. So the big question is this. How do passionate golfers like you and I develop a stock shot day in and day out? A stock shot that's as reliable as the sun coming up in the morning. That's the question, and this podcast is the answer. Welcome to Stock Shot Secrets. So many times I get questions like on Instagram or YouTube or like a YouTube short or TikTok or an email or whatever. And it's like, Kyle, why is it that the driver is so much harder, right? And when we talk about that, it kind of we kind of get into a little bit of the nitty gritty of like with club paths and some track man numbers and, and why that is. So the first thing that I need to explain to you is that as a 10,000 foot view of drivers versus irons, they're the same. But... When we look under the surface of them, there are some differences that I do want to talk about, right? Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to understand that the swing that you make with a 7-iron, by and large, is the same swing that you make with a driver. Now, there are some differences, but most of the time, they're basically the same. So what are some of the differences, just if we're talking philosophically about what it is? Well, obviously, with a driver, we want to be hitting up on a golf ball. So what makes the driver, why do we hit up on a driver and we hit down on iron? So like in an iron, we are hitting down at like four degrees. With with a wood or a driver, we're hitting up like let's say one, two degrees. How is that and why is that? Well, there's two things that we are going to do with our driver that are going to be different than irons. The first is we are going to be moving our ball position up to like our left armpit or inside of our lead foot right? The second thing is that in setup, we're going to maybe have a little bit more tilt away. But aside from that, it's going to be the same because physics are physics. The golf swing doesn't change, right? And it doesn't change since we're talking about that. We had this question on a, on a stock shot uh, club webinar last week. He goes, I'm really tall. Is my swing different than yours? Because like, you're really short. He didn't actually say really short, but I am short. So he goes, is it going to be different like from tall to short guys? And I'm like, no, physics are physics, right? Like your left arm should be in the same spot. Your hands are like above your heels. The shaft should go 90 degrees to your spine. Like the way that you swing should be the same because I am not inventing the swing. I am just doing what physics tells us should be done. So unless like you have like some crazy arms or a crazy torso or weird legs or something that's nuts, which quite frankly, I've never seen, then the swing is the same for the driver and the irons. Just a couple little bit of nuances. Now, if we go under the bottom layer, so if the top layer, if, if someone's holding between, they go really quick, is the driver the same as the irons? I go, hey, yeah, it's the same, right? Now they go, but really, like, is it the same? And I go, well, you know, there are a little bit of differences. Like, you know, the driver, like you have the ball more forward and you got a little bit more tilt and maybe this, the shoulder turns a little bit bigger. So it's a little longer and, blah, you know, you're not hitting the ground and yada, yada, yada. And I go, but, you know, it's basically the same. They go, okay, I get it. But, like, is it what what else is different? Like, is there anything else different? So now if you get into the lower level, right? And this is going to be kind of confusing, so try to stick with me. Hey, guys, I hope you are enjoying this episode of the Stock Shot Secrets podcast. If you are enjoying it, be sure to like this episode. Be sure to subscribe so you can always see when they are coming out. And most importantly, if you would be so kind to be able to share this podcast with other passionate golfers who are trying to get better and build stock shots because it grows through you sharing it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And now back to Stock Shot Secrets. Is in the golf swing, there is this complex thing. It's not really the golf swing, but just in in like geometry. There's this complex thing called the D plane. Now the D plane is a fancy word. And essentially what it means, it's like the plane. So if you think about like the plane board or one of those gigantic like Sam 2000 things that were like the big hula hoops, right, that like you would swing on. Think of that as like we're talking about that with the D plane. Now, the long and short of it is, is that the more that you hit down on a club, right, and the tack angle is what what is that that's measured on on TrackMan. So a tack angle on TrackMan, if you're watching the video, right, it is not measuring like 
the angle in which like the direction that the that the plane is landing it's just measuring the angle of descent that the plane is nose diving into the ground right so if it's nose diving like straight nose into the ground that would be like an attack angle of minus 90 right and if it was basically coming in like super super level right that would be like minus 2 so the more that you hit down the more the club path moves to the right right and i could show you this there is a youtube video that i did it that you could go check out if you would like um and it's actually i think titled the same thing like why hitting your driver is harder than your 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 irons but the more you hit down with an iron the more the path moves right so what happens with a driver is that when you're hitting up on it right the more the path moves left so at its core, if you really break down the D plane, what happens is that with an iron swing that I hit down and I make the same swing, right? Let's just say I'm hitting down four degrees and the swing direction, which is what the club is doing hip to hip, is zero, right? So let's just say like I'm swinging on a, on a tilted hula hoop and the hula hoop is pointing like right down the target line, right? Like at an angle, like a 60 degree angle. If the swing direction is zero and my attack angle is minus four, then the club path is going to be positive. It's going to be like four or five to the right, right? But if I do that same thing and I hit down four with the same swing direction, or I'm sorry, if I hit down like let's say seven and the same swing direction, the path will go more right. So what happens with a driver is that when I make a swing direction that's let's say zero, but I'm hitting up on it, the path is moving more left. So because I'm hitting up on a driver, I actually need to probably, quite frankly, you might have to feel like you're a little bit more into out with a driver than you do with an iron, right? That is why if you ever read Ben Hogan's Five Fundamentals of Golf, you'll see a picture where he's talking about a stance and he didn't have like track man and all that fun stuff. So like he would kind of like close his stance a little bit more with a driver and then with his wedges, he'd kind of open his stance a little bit. Right. And he was essentially subconsciously like he was way ahead of his time. Subconsciously, he was working the D plane through his setup. And that's kind of what it is. So technically speaking, with a driver, you need a little bit more tilt, you have a bigger turn. Right. You're going to have the ball more forward and you're probably going to have to feel like you're a little bit more inside to out to create the same curvature of that stock shot that you have with your seven iron. Now, with that same thing, since we are talking about curvature, why, you might just say, well, like, what about just hitting it straight? Why is hitting it? Why wouldn't we just hit it straight? And the truth is, is that if you look at the PGA Tour, all players have a stock shot. They all curve it one way, right? And that's what we're kind of after. So, you know, we can talk about like what the stock shot is, but we want to have some curve with our driver. And but when to create that same curve with our driver that we do with our irons, technically speaking, we need to be a little bit more inside out. So hopefully this helps eliminate some of the confusion because I know many of you guys are asking that like, hey, is my driver the same as my irons? Why am I dri uh, my driver worse than my irons? And, you know, here's some of the difference. And the other simple fact is the fact that the trigonometry, like when you hit a ball offline 300 yards compared to offline at 100 yards, it just goes farther offline. So it just manifests itself the same. Kind of like if you miss a short five foot putt, you're like, ah, I missed it a little bit to the right. Well, if that putt was like if that same line off of line, that putt was 300 yards, that would be like, wow, I hit it in this dude's pool, which is why the like the emotion attached to hitting bad drivers is so much more because it goes so much further offline. But um, hopefully this clears up some of the confusion as to why your driver might be feeling different than your irons to create the same thing and what are the differences between drivers and irons. Thanks so much for tuning in to Stock Shot Secrets, and we'll see you back here soon. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to the latest episode of Stock Shot Secrets. Now, as a listener of Stock Shot Secrets, I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to get better. So if you were to go to StockShotClub.com, I'm going to give you seven days free access where you can send us your video and we will give you personalized individual attention as to what you need to do so that you can start building stock shots. So just go to StockShotClub.com and register there. We'll give you seven days free where you can try it. And then if we like it, you can stay inside the Stock Shot Club where we can become your coach and walk with you for your entire journey. Thank you so much and be sure to go visit StockShotClub.com.